Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Flesh and Blood Team League stream on uh, the Combat Chain. Uh, we've got a last minute one coming here for you. Uh, Clout Chasers versus Fab Chaos. Uh, my name's Adam Filipchuk, and in this matchup we've got uh, Jody Burney taking on... Uh, oh, my apologies, I just got to double check the spelling on this one. Uh, Yorgos Samaras of uh, Fab Chaos. And... Uh, Players are already getting right into the game here, so let's uh, let's have a look and see what's going on here. Um, I believe uh, Yorgos was going first here. Uh, we did miss the the dice roll there, but I I did catch the tail end of uh, just them chatting, and I believe I I caught the dice roll there. And yeah, it was Yorgos going first. We'll get the confirmation on uh, whoever takes up Tunic first here, though. So just a little bit of last minute sorting things out here. We can see the finger wags going. And there we go. We see Yorgos ticking up Tunic first. Yorgos going first. Yorgos on Bravo Star of the Show against Jody on Prism, Sculptor of Arc Light. And we see Yorgos here is just going to opt to pass priority. Jody says, yeah, that's fine. Yorgos Arsenal's passes to Jody. And Jody gets the first opportunity at grabbing tempo here, uh, coming in with a Miraging Metamorph. This is seven with go again. And look at those black dice. Got to hover over them to see what, what number they are. So Yorgos thinking about his block here. And I know it only looks like Yorgos has three cards in hand right now, but I do believe he does have four. I think that's just with the TTS slag. One isn't popping up for us currently. And so we see Yorgos happy to take the damage here. Jody's going to follow that Miraging Metamorph up with the Shimmers of Silver, uh, thus ending his turn. Uh, he's trying to establish a little bit of board presence there at the end of his turn. So we see Yorgos ticking up Tunic, going to the start of his turn. He is going to activate Starvo. And there's that fourth card popping out, and it's a Pulse of Eisenloft. That, along with a Lightning Surge, that shows all three elements. Starvo is active. Next attack, getting, next attack costing three or more, getting plus three, dominate, and go again. We see a big pitch here to come in with a crippling crush. This is 13 dominate go again. That's a big attack coming on in. And with this crippling crush on four or more damage being dealt, uh, Yorgos will, or sorry, Jody will have to discard two cards at random. And it looks like Jody is just going to opt to take this whole thing here. Um, got to wonder what he's got in hand, what he's willing to, to kind of give up here on that. We see two cards at random, a blue war tune herald and a yellow herald of protection. We see that followed up with the hammer. It's going to target the Shimmers of Silver. So that's going to clear Jody's board. And we're going to go to the start of Jody's turn. Jody coming in with two cards in hand, one in Arsenal. He's going to pitch a Haze Bending. To play a Red Prismatic Shield. He's going to make three Spectral Shields off of that. So something of note here, the blue, the haze bending pitch. So no go again to swing any of those shields. Uh, but we are going to see the action point here used to play a haze bending. 
So now we've got three shields plus a haze bending. Swinging at the haze bending nets a shield. This is a, an interesting board state Jody's tried to set up here. And it'll kind of depend on what what uh, Yorgos's follow up here is. Will Yorgos have have the go again to kind of deal with everything? And it doesn't look like it. So he's just going to swing Winter's Whale at the haze bending. Jody's thinking about if he's got any instant responses to that. Oh, maybe this hammer is actually at face. Yeah, it looks like it. And then we're going to have a blink played to gain an action point, and then the lightning surge is going to target the haze bending. That makes more sense. So we see one card stripped from Jody's hand there to block that uh, the hammer for four. Jody does have three shields. Ooh, and ooh, coming in with the Herald of Erudition. So this is five dominate go again. This does have phantasm. And Yorgos definitely has, I, I think, the ability to block this out, whether he triggers the Phantasm with a six power or six plus power attack, or he blocks with Crater Fist. Like, he's got options here. And yeah, we're going to see the Phantasm trigger here with the Disable. Jody's going to trigger his footsteps with uh, Tunic activation, regaining an action point there. And he's going to swing all three shields. Little Kadachis, one prevented by Crown of Seeds, two more coming through, and then we're going to see a Pierced Reality played out at the end there. So just another aura to finish the turn off. And we're going to see Yorgos come in with the Spinal Crush here. Coming in for nine, threatening crush of four or more. Jody can't gain go again on anything on his next turn. So Jody thinking long and hard about his block here. Trying to figure out how much how much he wants to preserve his shields. If he needs the go again. I imagine he wants the go again. So probably probably blocking with two cards from hand here. Possibly three. Try to hold on to it. Mind you, he doesn't have any cards in soul, so he doesn't have anything to pitch out to give his things a go again. So he needs at least two cards, one to to play and the other one to pitch into it. But in order to do that, block for six would mean he would lose his three shields. So Jody in a bit of a tight position here because of that. Yeah, and looks like he's going to give up his shields, take six, and give up the go again. No go again on Jody's turn. We do see Jody's going to play out a Genesis at the end of, of Yorgo's turn. Interesting play there. So we're going to see the Genesis get triggered at the start of Jody's turn, making a shield, drawing a card. We're going to see a passing Mirage get played out, and we're going to pass the turn. So it looks like Jody's hoping to kind of aura lock Yorgos here right now. We'll see if he manages to pull it off, though. Jody already down to 21 life. 
Yorg was still sitting at 31 himself. And Yorgo's trying to figure out what his turn's going to look like. He does have four cards in hand in an arsenal, so he has the potential to have a big turn here. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a Starvo activation, though, just based on the fact that I think in this my heart about it. I imagine if he had the activation, he would have done it by now. Looks like we might have a decision on the play here. We're going to pitch a blizzard to activate Crown of Seeds. Tuck our arsenal, draw a card. Seeing if we like what we have now. We're going to start off with a blue lead the charge. So next action that costs two or more will create an action point. This is like a pseudo go again. So we're going to see a blue winter's grasp. Yeah, that's a blue winter's grasp. So that's going to be four gaining an action point. And that's going to be followed up by a whale swinging at the passing mirage with the, the remaining action point. So Jody able to go into his turn with a four card. Oh, I see. It wasn't, it was the Genesis that was targeted off of the, the winter's grasp. That makes sense. So that, Yorgo's doing a pretty good job of clearing Jody's board there, leaving Jody with just the Pierce Reality left and one shield. Jody's going to play uh, a red Prismatic Shield, making three shields up to four. Or up to, yeah, up to four. We're going to see that followed up with a Shimmers and an Arsenal. So the momentum for both players kind of stalled out here, though we're going back into Yorgo's turn now with Yorgo with a full hand and Arsenal. Oh, we're going to see Yorgo activate. It looks like activate Crown of Seeds before the end of Jody's turn. Looks like he's trying to look for the Star of o activation. And it looks like he's found it. Seeing the, the three elements being revealed there. So we're going to see the blue heavens claws getting pitched. Oh, along with an autumn's touch. To spinal crush. So this is 11 dominate go again. And once again on crush of four or more tax and actions can't gain go again. Jody does have the four shields up here. But I imagine wants to wants to keep them, wants to try to hold on to them to uh as much as possible to try to develop his board here. The dominate on that spinal crush though, I think he's those shields are gonna be going one way or another, I think, here. So we're gonna see a block from hand for three. Skull cap's gonna be thrown at this to pump to five. 
Shields make six, seven, eight, nine. That prevents the crush. Doesn't leave Jody with as much ability to, oh, he's thinking twice about the, the skull cap here. I was gonna say, doesn't leave Jody with much ability to go wide here. Oh, do we have the soul shield in Arsenal? No, we're gonna pop out a flash out a merciful retribution. So this is a sneaky play to get some arcane damage through because now every spectral shield popping will ping for one arcane on Yorgos. So Jody opting to take the rest of that damage. They're going down to 17. And then we're going to see that Merciful get uh, swung at with the uh, Winter's Wail. Popping it, that's going to trigger one more Arcane and go to Soul. And that's going to take Yorgos down to 26 on his own turn. Jody going to his turn, no cards in hand. Still one card in Arsenal. Uh, looks like he's going to swing the Shimmers. It's going to get a plus one counter on it, so it's going to be coming in for two. Oh, and it looks like we're going to have a block from hand here from Yorgos to, to prevent that two damage. Yorgos must not like what he sees in his hand. So Jody's going to pass to the end of his turn, drawn up. We're going to go to Yorgos' turn. Yorgos only three cards in hand. We're going to start see this uh, Winter's Bite, a blue Winter's Bite get played from Yorgos. So this is going to force a card out of Jody's hand. Uh giving Jody the option to either pitch or to discard a card. Jody's going to pitch a, uh, a Herald of Triumph here. It looks like a blue Herald of Triumph, uh, paying one. Uh, and then he's going to use the two floating to quickly make a shield before Yorgos then swings the Winter's Whale at the Shimmers, triggering the Spectra there, and it's gonna they're going to pop. It's going to pop. So we're going to go to Jody's turn. Jody's got three cards in hand, pitching a Herald of Erudition in order to make a shield, possibly. Looks like either somebody's thinking on something here. Okay, so we're going to have a Miraging Metamorph played here with off of that uh, Herald of Erudition. So this is going to be 7 go again. If this gets popped, Jody is able to essentially duplicate any aura in the field. Make a token copy of it. And Miraging Metamorph is just one of those cards that presents those interesting ultimatums. Would you rather see something get multiplied or would you rather take seven damage? And typically the answer is take seven damage. I think most people would rather take the damage than give the, the Prism player the chance to, to duplicate something here, especially because you can, uh, you can respond to Miraging Metamorph's trigger at instant speed and flash out something like an Ode to Wrath. Now you've got two Ode to Wraths out. And, oh, that's a tough place to be in. So it looks like following up the Miraging Metamorph, we have a shield for one and uh, another aura for one. And then we're going to pitch, and or not pitch, use our floating resource plus tunic to play out a Herald of Triumph. It's a blue Herald of Triumph, so this is five. We're going to see an arsenal here, and things are going to get passed back over to Yorgos. And off of a three-card hand, we're going to see a Starvo activation. 
just narrowly getting by with the three cards in hand there. And we're going to see a pitch to Oakenold. Is this going to be, this is a fused Oakenold. Oh, that's going to be tough for, uh, for Jody here. That's 11 dominate go again. And on hit, two cards at random going back to the bottom of Jody's deck. So we see Jody pitching here. He's going to throw his Ironhide Gauntlets at this. So you have to pitch to activate them, and they'll give two defense. And here we see, actually, Yorgos is at less health than Jody. So Jody's Skullcap only blocking for one. Thinking long and hard about the block beyond the gauntlets. Bearing in mind that we can only block with one card from hand. We're going to put Tunic in front of this. And skull cap, so that's going to add an additional two total. So up to four now. And we do have a soul shield from hand. That's going to be a block for 10. That still leaves one, but that should be covered by the Spectral Shield here. So that's going to be a full block of 11. Wow. Jody just narrowly able to block the entire thing. And do we see that uh, whale follow-up here? We do, and it'll target the Pierce Reality. So on that turn, Yorgo's kind of able to really take out all of Jody's board. Yorgos does still have, if he gets at a lower life, he'll have another block on Skullcap still. And he does still have Footsteps, though Footsteps are tough to use in this matchup because you don't want them to be blown up. And if they block any attack that's six or greater, anything gets pummeled, so many things like that, that'll automatically cause uh, footsteps to die. So that's always risky for, for the prison player. It looks like we're going to end the turn here with a passing Mirage. Passing it over to Yorgos on a full hand still. So Yorgos doesn't have the Stargo activation. He's going to go into the Channel Lake Frigid here. Pitching the Icy Encounter. So that will satisfy the Channel Lake Frigid's uh, channel cost at the, end of, uh, at the end of the turn. I think Yara was thinking, just what, trying to figure out what his follow-up looks like for that uh, the channel. The channel lake frigid alone is great to uh, slow down Prism. Now, now each Luminaris activation costs an additional one. Can't just swing auras for free anymore. And I think 
it looks like we're going to respond to this channel like frigid being played out here possibly playing out something at instant speed on jody's end see a blue pitch here well maybe not we did have the shimmers out there for a second Jody thinking long and hard about what his play is here. Does he respond to this channel like Frigid? Leave himself particularly vulnerable, but try to get out some value? Or... Because if you play something here, he's got to know that the, the Starvo is just going to pop it. And that Yorgos is definitely just going to pop it. I, I think that's... That's a guaranteed, I think. Jody's still thinking about whether he's going to respond to this channel. I, I imagine that's what's going on here is the discussion is, or the, 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 there's a, a thought being had surrounding responding to channel like Frigid. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So we're going to see some prismatic shields, or uh, prismatic shield get played there and three shields be made. So this way, this only costs Jody three rather than it costing him four if he lets that channel like frigid resolve. I think that's the right play. I think that's a smart play. So we're gonna see a hammer swing at the passing mirage. And we're going to Jody's turn. Jody does have the yellow here. He's going to pitch it to swing the first shield. So assuming he's got two yellows in hand here, he can swing all four shields, chip in a couple points of damage. And I imagine if Yorgos has the hand here, he's just going to take all this damage. Yeah, we see him down to 15, 14. We see another yellow pitched. Third shield. Yeah, 13, 12. And just as I suspected, Yorgos, no problem taking that damage. He's happy to take it. So Jody passing it back over to Yorgos. Still has that arsenal. Not quite certain what's there. It's been there for a couple turns now. I was wondering if maybe it was a soul shield, but we haven't seen it used then. So not quite certain what he's got there. So here we see, and it looks like we don't have a nice card pitch so far, so that Channel Lake Frigid will die uh, at the end of this turn. We do have the lead the charge into the Autumn's Touch. 
So this is five with an action point being generated. And we're going to see a block for six here. That's going to be followed up with an arsenal and a pass. And yeah, now we're on Jody's turn. We see, oh, yeah, so we're going to start off swinging shields, it looks like here. So swinging the first shield, threatening one, likely in response. Yeah, we're going to pitch to... Oh, we're going to see a Crown of Seeds activation. And there we go. The pitch in response to flash out the Merciful. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five damage threat in this turn. Plus the additional damage off of Merciful with shields popping, depending on what order. Oh, and it looks, interestingly enough, it looks like Yorgos is actually going to block a lot of this from hand. Must not like what he sees in his hand. We saw the, the Blue Autumn's Touch, the, the Spinal Crush. Very interesting that he chose to, blo to block there. And we're gonna see Yorgos just swing at the Merciful Retribution. Merciful Retribution popping, dealing one arcane back at Yorgos and going into Soul. We're going into the start of Jody's turn. Jody's got a full hand. And he comes right away with the Herald of Protection. What color Herald is this? That's a blue Herald of Protection. So this is five go again. The Herald of Judgment for pitch there. On hit, we'll go to soul and we'll make Jody an additional shield. And this one's kind of a must deal with, I think, because like at this point, Yorgos can't afford to get another, you know, another shield stacked up on him and take five on top of that as well, or any number for that matter, and just yell it that the shields get stacked up on him. That that's how he loses this game. Yeah, so we're going to see, this is going to be, what color Autumn's Touch? That's a yellow Autumn's Touch, so that should be a six power, it sure is. That's going to be popped. We're going to see a pitch to footsteps, regain the action point here. And we're going to see a Winter's Blight block here, followed up by a shield. Another one with go again. Death by a thousand cuts. Down to nine, down to eight, last shield. We're going to block it with the Crater Fist. Interesting. And then we're going to pitch to make another shield. Swing one last time, down to seven. So things are getting tight for Yorgos. And just when we thought Jody was behind... And Jody was down to 21, and Yorgos was still at 31. This has been a, a dramatic flip of the game. Now with Jody with the 10-point life lead. And here we see an evergreen blocked with an unmovable. An easy block for Jody. And Jody's going to go back to his turn with three cards in hand and five shields up. 
He does have cards in soul to pitch into. I'm sure Jody's got lots of tricks at this point. Jody thinking about how he wants to get this go again. And it looks like we're going to know. There we go. We're going to have a parable of humility pitched to make a shield. First attack's going to get go again. We're going to see a crown of seeds activation. Tuck that arsenal. Draw a card. So one point of damage on the stack. Crown of seeds possibly preventing it. I imagine you just let the crown of seeds prevent this and you keep going at this point. So there we go, we're onto the second shield, down to six. We're going to throw Rampart at the third. Fourth shield's coming in. Six health left. We're going to Crater Fist this guy. Pip shield now. Oh, looks like we just shortcut it here. So your goes down to four. He is coming back with a five card hand though. It doesn't look like he's got the Starvo activation, but he is gonna come in with a disable. And oh, is that a merciful retribution? And we don't have Arcane Barrier. I think this might be game here. Because that disable is going to blow up all those shields, and that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six pings of arcane without arcane barrier. I think that is going to be game. Just waiting for some kind of confirmation here. Just looking for the players to possibly clean up or something. See the cursor's wagon. And I think that's, looks like we're top decking now. I think that's our confirmation that this is done. So there we have it, folks. Jody Bernie taking that one over Yorgos. Getting a win for the Clout Chasers. In a surprising come from behind. With that being said, thank you for tuning in as always. Uh, we always appreciate your, uh, especially with these late ones. I know these ones are quite late for everyone. So means the world for us to have you come along and uh, check out any Flesh and Blood Team League action. But with that being said, we're going to sign off here. Uh, until next, until the next match, I'm Adam Philipchuk and we're, uh, Closing the combat chain.